chicken enchiladas today. I'm going to be using my red enchilada sauce. Uh, I do have a video on how to do that. I will attach it to this. Uh, you know what? Down here I cannot find, um, or over here, I cannot find corn tortillas. So I'm going to be using flour tortillas. I know corn tortillas would be better. Please, 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 please don't hate on me. <laughs> I just want to show you how to make these and you can use whatever tortilla you want. Let's make this. In this bowl I have four large chicken thighs which I boiled and then I cooled them down and shredded them. The good thing about this recipe, you can use any you know leftover chicken you have. You can use rotisserie, you can use breast meat, you can use whatever you want. I would say you know maybe six smaller thighs would be fine. Um, I probably have about two and a half cups of shredded um, chicken in here. I am going to be using my enchilada sauce that I make at home, but if you want to use store-bought, that's fine. I'm just going to put some of it into the chicken and we're going to mix it so it's all coated. I'm going to set it aside. In this other bowl I have some more of the sauce which I'm going to thin out with a little bit of the liquid I soaked the chilies in. You can use water. If your sauce isn't very thick you can go ahead and just leave it as is. Now I, as I told you in the beginning we're going to be using flour tortillas. Um, if you're using corn I'd like you to heat a little oil in the skillet and once it's hot, I want you to put it in 15 seconds on one side, 15 on the other, take it out and drain it on paper towel and then do this. Okay, that way it'll soften. So all I'm going to do is put my tortilla in here and make sure it gets coated in my sauce. I'm going to cook my enchiladas in two of these square pans. I don't have a 19, uh, 13 by 9, you know, one, so I'm just going to do it on two, in two. So if you have a bigger one, go ahead and use the bigger one. I'm going to put some of that enchilada sauce at the bottom. Vamos a poner un poco de esa salsa de enchilada en la parte de abajo. Now I'm going to fill this tortilla, and I'm going to do this with each tortilla, okay? I'm showing you one. I'm going to add a little bit of grated cheese in here. That's optional. And I'm going to roll it. Just like that. And I'm going to place it inside the pan. I will do this with all of them. All the ones I can fit in here and then a second pan and I'll be back. Okay, I got nine uh, enchiladas in each one of these pans. So you should get 18 uh, in the, you know, 13 by 9. I am now going to very generously cover this with sauce. And I'm going to sprinkle cheese, grated cheese on top of this. This is just cheddar cheese guys. I'm not going to put lots and lots of cheese on this, okay? You guys put as much cheese as you want. I just want to sprinkle it and have, you know, enough, but not cover it in cheese. But I mean. All right, I'm going to bake these at an oven at 350 degrees for about 15, maybe 20 minutes. When the sauce is bubbling, the cheese is melted, and, you know, our tortillas are nice and warm, it's ready. I'll see you then. And here, my friends, are our enchiladas. I'm going to serve these with some sour cream. 
You know, you can serve these with Mexican rice if you want. I do have a video on Mexican rice. In fact, next week I'm going to make one for you guys. It's nice, spicy Mexican style rice, uh, which we'll put up on, you know, for some other meal. So let's serve this. Okay, let's taste this. Ay, 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 this is good. This sauce, guys, that I'm attaching to the video is absolutely wonderful, I'm telling you. It's not hard to make. It's very, very good. Put a little cream on it. Mmm. 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 Yeah, uh -huh. This is good. By the way, this sour cream here is the one I make at home in minutes. You know, check out that video if you haven't seen it. It's really easy to make. Uh, very, very tasty. I have this recipe on the website, waiting for you guys to come and print it. Make sure you check out all our other Mexican food. We have all kinds of Mexican food on that site. Eat well, my friends, without going broke. I'm going to see you soon.